The other thing that we'll be looking at in this video is the pro panel. It's one of the panels I use to edit 90% of my images with. So we're going to have a wee look at that as well. And if you've never heard of it, I'm sure you have though, but if you haven't, it's worth checking out. I'll show you that later on in the video because I'll use it to edit some of these shots if I get any. One of the places I visited recently was Turnberry Lighthouse and Turnberry Lighthouse is only 25 minute drive away from where I stay and when I went down there again flat light but at the moment I only have the GFX 102 for a month so I'm trying to get out as much as possible for that and this isn't a review video this is just me going out shooting with the camera. When I get down there as you can guess it was flat light because when I left the house it was flat light but it's one of these things but then when I get down there the wind began to pick up and it got to the point where as you'll see during the video it got to the point where the wind was too much to record so that is why we are jumping back and forward from here to the video and that's the way the entire video will go Flat light for me is a challenge and it's a challenge from the point of view of post-processing. Now normally when I'm taking a photograph I'll be able to see whether this photograph in my head is going to be colour or black and white. I can, you can normally tell that by a scene and that goes for 99% of the photographs that I take. I'll know that I want this in colour or I'll know that I'm shooting this to post-process this in black and white. When it comes to flat light, however, I don't have a clue and that's what I enjoy about it. I enjoy the, the post-processing side of flat light. I'll try not to say that too often in the video, but I do I enjoy the post-processing side of that. Uh, when it comes to it because some of the images that you'll have seen already have been processed and double processed in black and white and when I was taking the photograph I was totally unsure what I was going to do. don't know if you can tell but where I was before it was getting way too windy. The light's totally, well not totally gone now. It's, I've shot a couple of things, 5,000 as well, just to capture the speed. But I'm curried down now, I'm round here. Hopefully you can still hear me, so I'm round here. And I am just shooting a 65 24 just to save me any. And you can see there in the back of the camera. But it's... It's been fun getting back out. Not the greatest of weather and as I say, it was good not to expect to come down and do all the exposures. It was really, really good to do that. Because it's given me something else to do and I suppose when you look at it, if you plan to go out and do something, the weather's not as favourable as you think. But you get something else that hopefully I'm happy with. But you'll see them before me. And then once I saw the photograph in colour, I thought, flat white, more dramatic, let's make it black and white. Now I know black and white does not mean drama, but for these style of images, I feel it's enhanced them more than what the colour version would do. So I would love to know in the comments what challenges you find with flat white, and do you enjoy photographing in it, or is it just simply a no-go?
Yeah, I'm not going out. There's no light. I have no dramatic light. I have none of this. I want the light hitting the sea there. I want the light illuminating, the, in this case, the lighthouse. What do you think and how do you feel? And, and is it a challenge when it comes to the post-processing side? Because it all should be enjoyable. That's the main thing. It should all be enjoyable. But for me, that's what I enjoy about the flat light images is the challenge of the post-processing because I never know whether the image is going to remain colour or whether the image is going to go black and white. And I really, really enjoy that. One of the editing panels that I use for about 90% of my images is the Pro Panel. Now, this is not going to be a review about the Pro Panel because you'll see on screen just now, I've just sped up the video just so that you can see me working with it and how it works. So I'll put a link below to the Pro Panel. I think it's something if you're into your editing and you want to get the best out of your images, go and check it out. I couldn't, I'll also put the price on the screen just now as well, but go and check it out and see what you think about it. I find it very, very useful. There's loads of features in it and there's loads of programmable features that up to five, I think it is. If you've got a shortcut that you use all the time or an action that you use all the time, that can be programmed into it. And it's, I find it really, really useful and I find the results very, very pleasing. So that's pro panel. And I, I use that, as I said, in a majority of my images. I'm not going to say hopefully you get something from that because it was just basically me out shooting in flat light. I just got a couple of images that, that they're okay. They're, they're okay, that's it. There are a couple of okay images. Uh, but I, I enjoyed being out and I enjoyed the challenge of being out in flat light. What I would like to know though probably... How do you feel about photographing in flat light though? What, what does that push you to do? Does it push you to look at the scene that you're about to photograph completely differently? Or does it let you look at the same scene but then think about how you're going to post-process that? For me, it's the post-processing side. I've got to admit, it is the post-processing side when it comes to flat light. That's where I think I'll get more practice in and I'll be able to bring if possible, more out of the image. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are when you're shooting in flat light. I don't know how many times I've said that now in the video. Hopefully you get something from the video. Just another short video and uh, check out the pro panel. This might be the last video just before Christmas, but there'll be one the following week. And I just want to wish you all the best. Thank you very much for tuning into the channel all year. I know it hasn't been as frequent as every week. Just been one of those years though. Uh, so I wish you all the best, however you celebrate the holiday season. Thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.